Hello, I'm Joe Slation, Managing Editor of the Wabash Plane Dealer, bringing you tomorrow's headlines for Friday, December 6th. Basically, this is a brief look at some of the uh, headlines and stories you can find in the print product of the Plane Dealer. Some of these stories are already available on our webpage, www.wabashplanedealer.com. And uh, links to the webpage are available on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Our lead story tomorrow is some good news for the North Manchester area, as Manchester University received uh, a $1 million grant from the Lilly Endowment. Uh, the award was part of a $62.7 million uh, total grants given to 39 colleges and universities around uh, around the state of Indiana. The funds come from the initiative to promote opportunities through educational collaboratives, uh, part of the Lilly Endowment, and it's designed to help uh, universities and colleges pursue activities to improve job prospects for college graduates in Indiana. Manchester officials uh, told the plane dealer on Thursday uh, via telephone that they plan to announce details of how they hope to use the one million dollar grant uh, in the next coming couple next couple of days. Uh, around Indiana, uh, eyes have been uh, looking towards the sky and, and watching the radar as a major winter storm was supposed to uh, supposed to uh, hit the area uh, Thursday night and Friday morning. Fortunately, Wabash and Wabash County is on the northern edge of that storm, and we're only supposed to receive about one to two inches of snow, according to the National Weather Service. Uh, Nick Van Hees spoke with uh, local route, road crews from the uh, city and county, and all have reported that they're wet, ready for whatever type of weather Mother Nature throws at it uh, tonight and again Friday morning. Nick Van Heest also brings a story uh, from Wednesday night's North Manchester Town Council meeting. The council approved a five-year contract extension with the Life Med Ambulance Service to provide ambulance uh, call or to answer ambulance calls in the northern part of the county. Over the five-year period, the uh, company is supposed to receive 20% more than it ha it is currently receiving. Uh, the contract still must be approved by the uh, Wabash County Commissioners before it can uh, take effect. In another story, uh, reporter Eric Seaman brings a piece on the new Wabash County Guide, an 84-page publication that was a joint effort between the Plain Dealer, the Wabash County Convention and Visitors Bureau, the Wabash County Chamber of Commerce, the North Manchester Chamber of Commerce, and the Economic Development Group of Wabash County. This is the first time that all five agencies work together to produce such a publication. And uh, Nick or Eric brings comments from uh, the leaders of those respective groups about the uh, publication. The publication is now available at all five of those uh, places I, I mentioned a, a moment ago as well as uh, several other spots around Wabash County, including all the, uh, the different uh, hotels, motels, inns, and so forth. Turning to sports, Plain Dealer Sports Editor uh, Justin Shockey uh, brings uh, details from all the various uh, Wabash County uh, basketball games that took place uh, overnight. Uh, including a uh, piece on the uh, Wabash Lady Apache's 64-33 win over the Peru Tigers. The game ended three minutes early uh, because of a scary situation when Wabash uh, sophomore Kristen Cromer collided with a uh, Peru player and fell to the ground and hit her head. She uh, stood up, walked over to the bench and collapsed. Uh, after that, uh, because uh, officials deemed the game out of reach, they called the game off with, uh, with about three minutes left. Uh, Kristen's mom uh, told, the plane, or told Justin uh, this morning that Kristen basically suffered a, a concussion and that she should be okay in, uh, in a few days. She's going to take about a week off to recuperate 
and then uh, try to get back on the floor as soon as she can after that, which is good news. Uh, we hope you join us in wishing her well. Until uh, Friday, this is Joe Slation wishing you uh, nothing but the best, and please be careful if it snows or if we get the snow or sleet or freezing rain that uh, the weather forecasters are calling for. Thank you and have a good evening.